So the daily energy routine, and this is something you can do while the kettle's boiling. The reason to do it is when you wake up in the morning, often we start the day as if it's yesterday. Those thoughts flood in, we're off on the starting blocks. And it's really useful to take time to wipe the slate clean. Just have a moment to check in with your body drop into your breath, let your energies get aligned. Um, and and it, in fact, it's great to do periodically throughout the day. Great time to do it just before your kids come home from school, when you've finished at the end of the day, those moments where you're, you're going into a different area of your life or a, a different part of the day, it helps just to create that pause let go of anything that needs to go and to get your energies aligned, ready, ready to move on, refreshed, energised uh, or feeling centred and grounded. So if, you, if you're ready for sleep, it helps just your energies not to be going to bed exhausted. We don't want to collapse into bed and we don't want to go to bed with all the day with us. Just a time when you can really get back into your midline and feel good. My name's Leanne Campbell. I'm a life and wellbeing coach and I specialise in somatic practices. I'm also co-creator of A Handpicked Life and all the details are below. And if you want to understand more about why somatic practices are really valuable to us, then you can check out our video on that. Okay, so let's get started. You might have just put the kettle on or just got out of bed. Just give yourself a wiggle and a shake, move, just move. Give yourself a bit of a wobble and then we're going to tap the fingertips together and then come to the back of the hand. Now, if you want to, you can just keep wobbling the legs. Sometimes it's nice to get into a, a nice little figure of eight with the hips. So just keep a nice movement going through your body, a ripple, whatever feels good. Come up the back of the arm and get a nice little sting on the skin here and then come to the shoulders and tap that fleshy bit of the shoulder, the armour, let go of that arm completely. And then down the inside of the arm, all the way down to the fingertips again. And the same thing on the other side. So basically we're covering all the surface area of the skin or as much as we can to encourage energy just to enliven so once you've given that a pummel I've got my mic here so I'm a bit restricted but pummel that shoulder and then tap down the inside of the arm and then bring the fingertips to the head and just tap all over the head the back of the head around the temples can often feel a little bit more tender. If it does, just breathe deeply and just release, put your mind behind releasing any congestion. Come into the back of the head and then down the neck. The great thing about tapping is it makes you present. You know, it's pretty hard to be allowing yourself to be distracted when you, you've got such a strong sensation. So go to the um, the shoulders as far down the back as you can and then come up and over the head and come onto the face. It also gives the body the okay signal so it helps the, the amygdala which is like the stress alarm in the body to relax. There's less activity in the amygdala when we begin to tap. So just tapping over the eyelids. That's a really good. And then around the face again i'll move our mic out of the way because i'd like you to just go deep into the cheeks for a moment you can open the mouth get some people like to even get the the knuckle in there or the knuckle of the fingers just into the the space there and moving to the chin under the nose, just stretch the skin for a moment. Go into your fingertips and stretch the skin on the face. Let it come down the neck as well. And in fact, just open up the neck. So letting the 
one hand go one way, other hand go the other, open out, and then come to the ears and give the ears a massage. Okay. And get right into the fold, into each of the folds of the ear. And then pull down the lobes. And let's tap under the chin. And then onto the chest. So do a bit of a Tarzan chest thump all over the chest. Just go in a little lighter over the breasts or the pecs and then come onto the, the rib cage, just pummeling the rib cage. And here we can get a movement just going side to side, traveling down. There'll be a point you might want to go to a slap when it gets to the belly, okay? So just going all the way around, so we're covering as much as we can. Cross the pubic bone when you get to the thighs. These muscles can take it. Give a really good thump, inner, outer. Okay. And then come down over the knees, all the way down again, inner, outer. All the way down. If you can't quite get there, imagine it and you can tap the ends of the toes. You can also do this sitting, this energy shower, and then come up the back of the legs. So get into a nice pummel on the calves. Calves love a good pummel. All over the calves, get to the back of the knees and then come up the back of the legs. Okay, and pummel. The buttocks. Okay, really good pummel. And then come all the way up as far as you can up the spine. Oh, and any bits you can't quite reach, just imagine you're feeling that same vibration. Deep breath in, breathe out. Just let go of that. Okay. And then we want to make sure the body's crossing over. So I'd like to just lift the same arm as leg. And this crossover pattern is really essential. So when you've done six or eight of those, just come over to a cross. This is a great way to make sure you've got the left side of the body operating, um, the left side of the brain operating the right side of the body and the right side of the brain operating the left. If you want to, you can swing over as well. If that knocks you off completely, just go back to a swing. And you want to do it at least double the amount of these than you do the same arm as leg. So just stop there. I'm just gonna do one more set and it might be that you need two or three of these. See how it feels? Because once this pattern really hits off in the body, we can really fire on all cylinders. Okay. And just a swing. If you get that swing and it feels good, you can get a nice figure of eight going. Okay, and again, only go to what, make sure your body's really registering this with the twist in the waist and the crossover pattern. And then let's just do a few swipes. Shoulder to hip. Head to feet. Waist to feet. It feels good. Imagine that's happening on the back of the body as well and deep inside you. Shake it off. Ah, okay. And then just do a gentle hook up. So have the middle finger in the third eye, the other finger in the belly button and just gently press up and in. If it feels comfortable, you can cross the legs here. Just get those crosses going in. Just sink down, let's take a couple more breaths here. Smile, let your energy feel clear and light. And then you can uncross the legs and just feel your feet rooted ground. You may want to rub them, enliven the soles of the feet. It doesn't matter if you've got shoes on, just put your attention there, spread the toes if you if you can. It's 
one more deep breath here. Feel that center and release. And let's finish with breath of joy just to really enliven the body. So breath of joy, you breathe in, breathe out. Okay, and you swing your arms in, breathe in, breathe in. As you breathe out, relax down, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Okay, and if you want to, you can swing all the way down if that feels good. Let's do three more. Let that feeling of lightness and ease come into your body. Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining me. There's more about us below, but Handpicked Live, check that out. And if you want to understand more about why somatic practices are really important, then please check out the video that goes into much, much deeper detail. Thank you.